I hope this stays. Let's hope it doesn't break. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it is a new year. Um, the last time I did a drive with me was, I think, about a year ago. I want to say it was in, like, February of 2020. And I love doing drive with me's, especially when I'm home, because they're, like, simple and I get to drive around on routes that, like, I learned to drive on. So, it's nice to be able to do that. Um, and I really hope my camera doesn't fall. Obviously, I'm going to be looking at the road and not at the camera when I get on the main road here in a second. But for today's drive with me, as most drive with me's are, and I'm sorry if this is super shaky, um, but usually for drive with me's, I just listen to music and I talk to you guys and kind of just see where it goes. I try to talk for the majority of the time because I don't want to get copyrighted, so that would not be good. I have a lot of new music that I listened to over quarantine and stuff that I didn't have back in February. So it's gonna be kind of fun to talk about that and listen to those songs and just go on a drive. Starting the year off right. I'm really trying to like not let this camera fall. But today is super gloomy outside because it's winter. This is the first time I've done a drive with me in my new car because this time last year I had my old car um, and I had to borrow my sister's like phone thing because I don't have one in my new car to put my camera on. I don't know where I'm going to drive. I want to drive somewhere where it's simple. Like routes that I've taken before. I love this song, the Glee version of I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For. Ugh, a bob. Um, I'm trying to finish this. I literally sprinted out the door because I forgot I wanted to do this today. And the sun sets in like 20 minutes, so... I kind of want to talk about 2021. I know I did a 2020 recap video, um, and that has just been a crazy year. I journaled a lot this year, and um, yesterday I literally journaled in my journal about 2020. Like, I recapped my whole 2020, and it took like six pages. I wrote like a novel. <laughs> Not really, but like for me, like my journal pages are usually like a page and a half, and this was literally like six or seven pages, so I wrote a lot. I also just rewatched Outer Banks because they just took Gossip Girl off, and I was cleaning yesterday, and I needed something to put on in the background, and it's sad that Outer Banks is now my background show. Like, my background show is probably like Glee, but I do like want to rewatch Glee again, so that's why I didn't put it on. But I finished um, the last few episodes of Outer Banks this morning and like it took me back to April quarantine when I was absolutely obsessed with Outer Banks and so was the world like my whole TikTok was just Outer Banks themed it was hilarious but it is a good show and apparently according to like the internet season two is supposed to be coming out early this year I mean they said like early 2021 so that's probably means before summer so that's something to look forward to, y'all. Okay, but anyway, 2020 was a crazy year, we all know. We all went through some stuff. I had a lot of really hard moments, but I also had a lot of really, really good moments. And like I said in my year in review, it was a much, much needed year. Like without this year, I would definitely not be where I am right now, like mentally and physically. And like, I guess emotionally too. I just feel like I'm kind of falling into myself more, which is a good thing and something that I'm looking forward to working on in 2021. I'm at another red light. But anyway, 2021, I am excited. I have a good feeling about it. And like, I know 2020, I had a really good feeling about. Like I literally thought 2020 was gonna be the best year ever. And I've said this before, like I had this time last year, I was really like, this is the year. And it wasn't, obviously. But this year, I kind of had more of like a, like a mellow, I had a more mellow New Year's, obviously, because of the pandemic, I wasn't with tons of people. Usually around like 10 p.m. on New Year's, I get like the jitters, because I'm like, oh my gosh, another year's about to start. And last year especially, because 2020 was like my graduation year and the end of my childhood and all that stuff, so I was super jittery. And this year, I was super calm, and I was like, oh, it's 2021, what the heck? So that's why I kind of feel like this year is gonna go good. Um, and I hope it's uneventful, um, like, in a way, like, I hope it's eventful for me and I have good things happen to me, but, like, for the world, I hope it's uneventful. Like, I don't want any bad events to happen. Oh, Sleeping at Last just came on. I'm obsessed with Sleeping at Last. I love him so much. I want to talk about my 2021 goals. So, in 2020, I booked my first professional acting job. I was really proud of myself, super happy, and one of my big resolutions and goals for this year is to book three acting jobs I actually just submitted an audition a few days ago I want to read five books I read 
like I was a super big reader when I was younger and then I kind of fell out of it and I want to fall back into it um, I read like two and a half books in 2020 which is so sad um, at least like on my own time like I obviously read stuff for school but like on my own time I read two books and they were um, The Purpose Driven Life which I read over quarantine it's like a self-help book and then I read Holding Up the Universe, which is a phenomenal book. I just finished it a few weeks ago. It's by the same author who did All the Bright Places, which I have not read, but I have seen the movie. Excellent story. Great, great author. I love Holding Up the Universe. I highly, highly recommend that book. It's so cute. And when I say two and a half, I've been in the middle of Little Women for a long time. And, like, my life has been so crazy that I haven't been able to finish it. So I'm trying to finish that. I have, like, 100 pages left, I think. Um... And then I'm going to read another book and hopefully get up to five, not counting Little Women, so five and a half, really. Another one of my big goals is to continue my workout schedule. My roommate and I have a really, really good workout schedule that we did in the fall, um, and I want to continue that. I like literally don't even know where I'm going. I was going to go to a neighborhood, so I don't know why I'm going this way. Um, today, I got my Evermore CD in the mail. I ordered it the day the album came out. Um, and it has two deluxe songs on it, and I finally got it in the mail, and I got to listen to them today, and they are so good. I think out of the two, out of the two, I think my favorite is, um, It's Time to Go, and the Treat People with Kindness music video that came out yesterday, or the first, I guess, because I'm uploading this on the third. Good freaking stuff. Ooh, Yellow by Coldplay, yes. I'm literally rambling about whatever I feel like. Every year I kind of name like my year and I put like a word to my year which is weird but like it's whatever. So last year was the year of change and this year I called it the year of you as in like the year of myself. So like the year of me, the year of you, however you look at it. But this year I really want to learn how to kind of like be my own best friend and like fall in love with myself. I really, the second half of 2020, I really like started to feel like a different person and like like the kind of person I'm gonna be in my adult life and I'm excited to kind of explore that in 2021 for sure. So I'm really just gonna kind of focus on myself and like, yeah, fall in love with my freaking self because you should all fall in love with yourselves. You're the only person you're gonna have for the rest of your life. So we're just gonna drive around in a neighborhood up here. I'm gonna drive around in my old neighborhood because why not? The other goal for 2021 is I want to grow on YouTube and I kind of, I feel like that's a, I feel like that's a resolution for me every year, but like this year in particular, I can just feel it. Like I can just feel that like my YouTube channel is gonna grow and it's gonna be really embarrassing <laughs> if it doesn't at the end of this year when I just said that just now. But like, I don't know, I feel different about this year. And especially because a lot of my videos have been getting way more views than usual and it'll be like four days after I post them and like the views will skyrocket and it's so bizarre to me and that's been happening with like pretty much every video um, and I know I don't have a lot of subscribers or anything which is fine I, like my YouTube channel is like a time capsule for myself even though I would love to grow on YouTube and like get lots of subscribers it's more of like I just like putting stuff out there into the world I just feel like my channel is gonna grow a lot this year and I'm kind of excited for it I'm working really hard and uploading like crazy um, and I feel like I've just been uploading a lot of genuine content not that I haven't before but I feel like I know more about myself now than I did and I'm not molding myself to like any other youtuber which is nice I'm just molding myself to myself if that makes sense I also hope that I get to travel this year, which I know I don't really have any control over because of the pandemic, but if for some reason things turn out good by the summertime, um, I hope I get to travel. Okay, if we're parking in the cul-de-sac like this, it makes it real hard to get out. Please and thank you, let's not do that. Cool. I'm also manifesting that I'm gonna get to see Harry Styles. My concert, I'm supposed to see him in October. I literally bought these tickets for my 18th birthday and I'm gonna be almost 20 by the time I see him. But it's fine, it's cool, it's okay. Sometimes stuff doesn't work out. I have High Hopes for 2021, play High Hopes by Panic at the Disco because that's how my 21's gonna go. Everywhere I go. Kids who live in my house now have a trampoline and I was never allowed to get a trampoline. I'm kind of salty about that. Tired, we're living life on a merry-go-round. Preacher Man by the Driver Era. 
a masterpiece. I love this song. You're just too good to be true. I want to watch 10 Things I Hate About You now. Oh, these houses are so pretty. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to stop the video here before the sun goes down, but thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.